What's going on YouTube? Flaw Thinker here. And uh, just want to go over, uh, went a few hours to the Chantilly Card Show. And I have some thoughts, picked up a, just a few things. Um, all right, thought number one. I really don't want to make this a rant. If someone has a card table and they have all their cards there, but no prices on the cards, for the most part, I immediately just walk past. Um, and the real the reason is, okay, first car, first table I went up to that had that, I was like, all right, uh, what's the price on that? And then they opened up their the little door and they picked up the card and there was a sticker on the back. It's like, okay, well, what's the price on that? Then they open up the other door, price on the back. I'm like, what? Just put the prices on the front, okay? Um, and then I didn't buy anything there. Prices were way too high. No negotiating. And then next table I went to that had that, I was like, hey, what's the price on that? And then I had to wait for the guy to bring out a paper spreadsheet that had prices on it. I'm like, all right, well, what's that? Uh, I'm like time is the one thing that we cannot get back <laughs> that's the one thing you cannot get back in this life is time and I'm not going to waste my time waiting on someone else to try to find their prices if they don't just have them on the card just put it on the card put it on the card I understand some people say it's a conversation starter blah 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 well just to let you know the conversation is not even going to start because I don't care now I understand if you have a card that's two thousand dollars and you don't have a price tag on it understandable okay you have every every card under that under every card under a certain price of yours has a price tag and every card over doesn't a hundred percent understand okay because then you want offers get that but if it's a freaking twenty dollar card just put the freaking price tag because i'm not going to spend my time on my phone looking it up okay i don't have time for that that's not what I'm there for. Okay. Um, second thing is, so the one thing I wanted to, the one thing I wanted to accomplish, I didn't. Um, I was trying to sell my Justin Crawford Super Fractor 101. Um, I didn't accomplish it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start it out on eBay and uh, just put it at auction. Uh, I have no reason to have it. I really don't feel like holding it till it gets called up. Um, and I can use those funds somewhere else. Um, so, but I have a, something that stinks is every, every table I went up to, except for a few, like some of the people, I show them the card, they're like, oh, that's a cool card. I'm not interested. Cool. Quick. Easy. Then you had one guy, um, every single person asked me what it what it's worth. And I'm like, guys, it's a one of one. I don't know what it's worth. Uh, I started off by saying I pulled it and it's a one of one. Okay, I don't know what it's worth. I gave what I thought it could be worth. I don't know. I don't know what it's worth. It could be this one. I don't know. I know what I have into it. So it doesn't matter to me. I'm just like, give me an offer. Um, but then, so you had a lot, of, a lot of people just, they don't know prospecting, which I get 100%. Um, I had one guy, I went up to his uh, table. He had a whole, his whole entire table was Bowman. That's all it was. It was just all Bowman. Um, I went and he's like oh sorry i only buy um tops what i don't know if he doesn't know what bowman's best is that makes zero sense all right whatever um so anyway didn't get that accomplished so it's gonna go up for auction it is what it is i'll get more than what i have into it i know that 100 percent um but anyway so some cool stuff i didn't get much but some stuff i did get i got this is a really cool card. Uh, Bryce Harper, 2011 Bowman Chrome. This is the green X-Fractor. 
I guess. I don't know. It's really cool. Guy had a sticker for 80. I looked it up. A PSA 9 went for 50. So I was like, hey, I'll do 35 bucks on it. So that way, if I can send it in, it's honestly, the centering's off a little on the front. So it'll probably get a nine, but worst case, it gets a nine and then whatever, who cares? Break even. Um, now these are real. these are really cool I got. Um, I've done deals with this guy in the past, I bought from him, and I just love, I, I've, I've seen these and I just pulled the trigger on them, on some of them. So I guess, so these are, they're not box toppers, they're bigger than box toppers, but they're all numbered and I believe they're all short prints. And you could only get them if you ordered the complete sets from Tops, but you had to be like the first ones or something. I don't know. So that's a cool Juan Soto SP. And if it's if it's a standard SP, it's numbered to 49. And then if it's a gold, it's numbered to 10. And that's all there is. There's no, there's no others. So that's a cool Soto. Let's see. I got a Max Scherzer hitting. I thought that was really cool. Let's see. Got the uh, Scherzer sitting in the stands. Uh, this is probably my favorite. This is the uh, Bryce Harper ripping up the check, the $300 million check that uh, whatever, I can't remember the name of their uh, mascot, but I love that one. Um, so I got the Scherzer, the Scherzers, they were cheap. I got the Sotos just cause I think he's going to be a really good player. I got the judge. I got Aaron judges just cause he's super hot. So, I mean, that's one. There's another one. Let's see. Oh, here's Soto. I think that's during the pandemic. I, I believe that's when he took down one of the fake pictures that were in the stands or whatever. This is a nice picture. Soto in the old Expos uni. And got the Miguel Cabrera, just cause it was cheap. So in all, all in all, I think I, oh, I also, I did buy a Cal Ripken SP, um, but I bought that and I gave it to Chris Sewell um, just because I know he's a really big Cal Ripken fan, and I watch all his videos, and I've never, I've never paid for anything to see his videos. I've never done any of that, but it was just more of an appreciation thing. Um, and uh, yeah, so in total, I spent less than two hundred dollars, and I'm happy with these. I think these, I know I can get these graded by BGS, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, they're all numbered to forty nine. Why not? But anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend, week, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.